So once you've completed this exercise or this activity of going through with a partner and getting an argument for the size of your opportunity, the second thing is once you know that you want to pursue that, is this a feasible business? Can you acquire customers at a reasonable rate? Can you deliver the product at a cost that allows you to make money? So using the restaurant example, Clover wants to make everything from locally sourced materials, locally sourced ingredients. Can you possibly have a restaurant that attracts enough users that's both vegetarian and local and reasonably priced? And that's their task is to prove that that's actually possible. And it's possible in a way that you can then replicate that a thousand times. So the final one is what does it cost to actually build this business? At the end of the presentation, you need to be asking for a certain amount of capital. And the more specific you are about both how much you need and why you need it, the easier it is for the investor to relate to that. What you need to be able to say is, I've shown you that this is a good opportunity, that this could be a really attractive business from a profit perspective. What I'm asking you for is a million dollars or three million dollars to take the first steps in that business to greatly reduce the uncertainties that are built into this five-year projection that I've given you. What you need to do is then go back in after this workshop is over and think through how do you demonstrate that this is a feasible business. So on each business will have a different way of doing it. Go back to the way you thought about your process. Go back to the way you thought about proof that you already have. Go back to the tests you're going to be running. Go back to the data that you have on the market and say that the elements of cost that you need, the cost of getting a customer, the cost of building a unit, the cost of making a delivery, that these things are within a certain range and that you can charge a certain price for it. Once you have that, you then want to put that into something that, again, is simple and easy to communicate in a way that someone would say, yeah, I can see that this business at scale is going to be making money. And here are the two or three key things that this team has to get over in order to make that real. The second thing that you should do as a practice is go back and say, what would I do if I could get $3 $3 million? What is it that I could do if I could get $5 million? And through that process, come up with, this is what I need for the business. I want to raise, say, $2 million. And by raising that money, this is the way I'm going to use it. And when I have done those activities, the business will now be at a different stage so I can raise another round of money from either the same investors or new investors to take it to the next part of my journey.